There's now a, a piece of legislation, SB 179, that would change male or female on a California driver's license to some third gender. You could be not male, not female, but what? What do you check your box and what's displayed on the new driver's license if this becomes law? Right, well, this is by a homosexual Democrat named Tony Atkins of San Diego. He used to run abortion clinics before she got elected, but it would uh, put in a third option on a driver's license, non-binary. And what that basically means is it means not male, not female, something else. But non-binary is a catch-all for any sexual anything. It's really anarchy and chaos. Uh, University of California, Berkeley has on their own website a list of all the possible genders. And, you know, we're talking two, three dozens of these made up genders. And they haven't even gotten into uh, those who have relationships with uh, uh, computers or animals yet. But uh, it's, it's just a total anarchy. So I, I'm really broken in my heart about the confusion that it would be for children, a 15 year old getting a, a learner's permit or a 16 year old getting a driver's license, going into the DMV in California being asked, well, you put yourself down as male, female or non-binary. The, the basic question is telling children that there's more than two genders and that we've got to forget about science and chromosomes. Well, to me, if you check that third square and say non-binary, what you're really disclosing is I have a mental illness. But it's, it's, a, it's a very dangerous thing because we have to remember uh, even the Centers for Disease Control, the federal government, even on their website, uh, declares that transsexuality, uh, cross-dressing, is the highest transmitter of HIV AIDS in our land. And you know it's even more dangerous than homosexuality, which is about three quarters of all AIDS infections and transmissions, uh, is to the, uh, those who practice homosexuality. Well, so, and, and just to clarify, it's talk, not the clothes the that you wear that are transmitting this disease. It's the behavior where you're slop, swapping blood and other bodily fluids with people who right, have right. AIDS oh. that causes this right. transmission. But where is the warning to children? I mean, you go to the grocery store, you've got certain labels on the food, on TV, on certain commercials, there are uh, legally required warnings. Yet here, the state of California in the government schools already and then proposing to do on a driver's license would tell children that their, their gender can be anything and that they're promoting gender confusion rather than biological facts of your chromosomes. Uh, because you, if you're female, if you have an XX chromosome, you're male, if you have an XY chromosome, if you don't inherit a Y chromosome from your father, you're not male. These, these are unchangeable laws of nature. So they're, they're promoting a certain behavior to children without telling children there are real risks and real harms and why this behavior should be avoided. So it's a big lie to children and we're gonna have more casualties.